I do have some very unfortunate news to tell you. Um, he didn't miss it. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. No, sir. Do you take drugs or alcohol? What is drugs? It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. No! No! Yes. Yep. No! At them, never. How did a real bullet get on no, that set? I have no idea. Someone put a live bullet in a gun. The trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, no, no. Well, see you later. And I cocked the gun. I go, can you see that? 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 And she says, and then I let go of the hammer of the gun and the gun goes off. This is terrible. We're in a terrible situation. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. Don't threaten me with a good time. You still alive? I'm a goddamn cat. Niggas wanna fuck who got your back. Niggas wanna fuck who got the cat. It ain't hard to tell I'm the East Coast overdose. So nigga, you say you're just a poster. Nigga, I post you. Put fear in your heart. Fuck up the party. Before it even starts. This is drunk over Henny. What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. Thank you all for clicking on the video. Happy Friday to all of you out there. Uh, unless you're in China, uh, you're probably not allowed to watch this channel, so never mind. Anyways, today is a day that myself and many others have been waiting for for quite some time. For over a year now, actually, since uh, Alec Baldwin murdered somebody, whether it was intentional or not. You know, it was probably an accident, but he still killed someone. And he tried to push the blame off to, uh, to Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, who's the armorer, and she pushed the blame to... Uh, the, the company that gave her the ammo, and it's like everyone's just, you know, playing the blame game, and no one's taking responsibility, but the FBI uh, stepped in and was like, well, we're just going to place the blame for you, since nobody can figure this shit out. So Alec Baldwin is getting charged with two counts of involuntary manslaughter, and I believe Hannah is as well. Uh, I don't know what this results in. I don't I don't know if it's jail time. I, I, I doubt Alec is going to do jail time, but it'd be wonderful if he did. Um... But I, I've been waiting for some kind of justice. Uh, this isn't the best justice. This is probably the, the, uh, the least amount of, uh, well, justice that could be uh, divvied out. I wish the punishment was a bit more harsh, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. At least this is now on his permanent record. Uh, he has a stain on his record. He had a stain on his reputation in the public eye, but now he has a stain on his actual permanent record record that's not going away anytime anytime soon he's gonna have to walk around and live with that on his record manslaughter now again i think he's only been charged not convicted but i'm pretty sure he's gonna be convicted um or maybe he was convicted i don't know i only do like a little bit of research you know i don't really do a whole lot of research Okay, that's a lie. I do a lot of research and I just forget it. Because what is the point of remembering all the research when you know it's on the internet? You can just go look it up again. There's no point to remember shit because you can just count on it being there. Until one day it's not. And everyone's stupid again. Anyways, Alec Baldwin should be uh, exiled from Hollywood. He should not be allowed to re-enter the uh, entertainment sphere ever again. Uh, he does not deserve a comeback. He's an arrogant, pig-headed, narcissistic sociopath. And I just really don't like his face. It just, I don't like him. There was a time where he was a decent actor, but now he's just a, a raging piece of shit. I don't even know what that means. Can a piece of shit be raging? I mean, shit, look. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I don't like this guy. I never liked him. I don't, I don't, I don't like his voice. I don't like his fucking, his stupid face. I don't, I don't like his attitude. I don't like his movies. I don't like his comedy. I don't like his shows. I don't like his impression of Donald Trump. I don't like any of it. You just don't do a very good Trump impression. There's plenty of good impressionists out there. You're not one of them. You can't do a good Trump impression to save your life. And you went on for four years and it was just cringe. Thank you. Thank you for coming to watch my victory speech tonight. <laughs> As anyone who died halfway through Tuesday knows, I was re-elected president of the United States. But of course, they're trying to steal the election away from me. Come on, let's hear it. 
Stop the count! Stop! Anyway, they probably should have threw you in prison just for how bad your fucking impression of Donald Trump was. I'm sure you've all already heard about this news. I just felt like, uh, mentioning it because I've covered Alec Baldwin in the past, and I just felt like this would be a nice little... Uh, way to wrap up the Alec Baldwin saga. We might get some more news coming in the future here, uh, but for now, this is a, a nice little, nice little surprise uh, to see some justice finally being dished out. So, if you're still watching this video, that means you still have nothing to do. So, let's go ahead and waste our time together by watching these compilations that I have created for you. We'll go ahead and see what the mainstream media and the national news outlets are saying about Alec Baldwin, and then we'll go ahead and uh, watch some, you know, funny, funny clips. Some, some. Look, it's a Darth outro with a compilation. This is awkward. I... Stay Darth. Are we shooting? What? Are we shooting people or what? Are we shooting? That's what I'm asking you. What's the answer? I don't know the answer. That's what I'm trying to find out. Hillary, are all these charges I'm, fair? No, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. You're not going to ask me questions. I'm going to tell you. Got it. Okay? I want you guys to realize that we have seven kids. And you being here to escort them to school and to be there when they come home is not good. So on a human level, you guys know I'm not going to say anything to you. You know that. So please leave my family in peace and let this all play out okay so let my kids come home and you stay away from them because they ask me mommy what like what are these people doing and it's a very hard thing as a mom to try to explain same family Here goes now i don't have anything to control the trigger with so i put it on a timer but i don't remember how long i shed it ah, we're all gonna die Okay, so now the bat has a gun and the knives I gave him. What? Why would you give him knives? I didn't think it would matter. I was counting on this helicopter thing working. So please, go home, because I'm not going to say anything, and Alec is not going to say anything. I would like as many of you as possible to follow my wife on Instagram. I came knocking on your door a million times, and you laughed at me. You've been in love with something else your whole life, and this is a love affair. And so, I'm not going to get in bed with you. Because you don't love the spirit of justice. You love your father, the devil. You love death more than life. So you go with your father forever. And that's hell. Separation from God. You go. On these documents, how could anyone be that irresponsible? Isn't that what this president says about mishandling classified documents? We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> Not yet. Alec Baldwin now blames the woman that he accidentally shot for his onset shooting. Basically, Alec says that Helena told him to point the firearm at her and fire. Now, it seems like he's trying to do this to minimize his role and responsibility in Helena's passing. But what do you guys think? The New Mexico District Attorney released a statement announcing it will file involuntary manslaughter charges. It's a, a major, uh, really significant uh, finding here. It, when you talk about uh, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, for starters, she was just 24 years old. It was her second time serving as an armorer on a, a movie set. Um, and she has said all along through her attorney that this was simply Alec Baldwin's fault, point blank, that he pulled the trigger. Of course, you know, uh, in that 
that now famous, uh, infamous interview that uh, Alec Baldwin did with George Stephanopoulos, he denied, he disputed uh, ever pulling the trigger. Uh, the FBI has now said that based on their findings that they have concluded uh, that the gun otherwise would not have fired. Now, in recent months, Alec Baldwin has filed uh, cases against or lawsuits against the crew, including uh, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, saying that it was their fault, that, uh, that a live round should never have made its way onto the set. And so he has said, really, that, that he's been a, a victim in all of this. No, man. Shit, no, man. I believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that, man. Uh, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed is also filing a suit uh, against the prop company, saying that they had given uh, live rounds in addition to the dummy. So lots of finger pointing here, but in the end, uh, the district attorney's office saying uh, that Hannah Gutierrez-Reed and Alec Baldwin should face criminal charges all along that they had said this could be an accident or it could be criminal or it could be both and now it seems that they're coming out uh, rendering a decision uh, that it's both as for his part david hulls who is the associate director here uh who uh, witnesses say there's some discrepancy here but alec baldwin says uh, that he actually handed him the gun and said it's a cold gun at the time, uh, meaning that uh, there were no live rounds in it. Uh, however, uh, there are witnesses who dispute that. Uh, but in the end, uh, just uh, shocking news for, for Alec Baldwin and Hannah Gutierrez Reed, Diane. Against actor Alec Baldwin over the 2021 fatal film set shooting of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Baldwin was holding the prop gun on the New Mexico set of the Western titled Rust when the gun went off killing Hutchinson. This decision has been a long time in the making. The Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office has been reviewing and investigating this case for over a year now. And the DA's office here in Santa Fe County has been looking at that investigation for over three months before officially making their decision today. As you know, Alec Baldwin will face involuntary manslaughter charges. So will Hannah Gutierrez Reed. She was the prop master in charge of the weapons. Now, it does it Pierre, Dave Halls, the assistant director who handed Alec Baldwin that weapon and yelled out cold gun, meaning it was safe to use, has struck a plea deal. He'll face probationary uh, measures here in Santa Fe prosecutors announcing they will charge actor Alec Baldwin with two counts of involuntary manslaughter in that deadly 2021 shooting on the movie set of Rust. Baldwin's attorney releasing this statement, quote, this decision distorts Helena Hutchins' tragic death and represents a terrible miscarriage of justice. Mr. Baldwin had no reason to believe there was a live bullet in the gun or anywhere on the movie set. Um. We need a, a seal. You have a seal? A seal? Uh, uh, I got a sterile glove and a packing glove. Where was she shot at? She came in here and went across her chest. And it came okay. back and went into her. You want air, air flight? Yeah, we got one in route. Okay. Gabby, Gabby, you just make sure nobody else comes in. Yeah, we got air. Do you have the ears, ma'am? Do you have stuff to scope? Uh, yes, they're in that bag. Right there at the top. Purple? No, nope, at the top. This year, this year. Helena. Is, is anybody allowed to go with her in the helicopter? No, nah, no. Helena, deep breath. Deep breath, Helena. There you go. Deep breath. Deep breath, Helena. Deep breath. Be okay. Good girl. Good girl. That should have been a cold gun with no rounds inside or dummy rounds, cosmetic rounds, no flash. I take the gun out slowly. I turn, I cock the pistol. Bang, it goes up. She hits the ground. She goes down. Director Joel Souza was also shot during the accident. And then he starts screaming. And I'm thinking... In a flash round, I could see maybe if there was wadding or there's some stuff that's that, that hot, and maybe it hit you and burned you. They say sometimes that happens. But remember, we're rehearsing, so no one's protected. Sousa talked to a deputy while waiting to go into the ER. I believe as the armorer will 
keep the gun, what they call, clean or cold mm -hmm. when they hand it over for rehearsal, meaning they show it to the actor, they show it to the first AD, and they say, they all agree that there are no rounds in it. A production assistant said this isn't the first time a gun misfired on set. Films armorer Hannah Gutierrez Reed, her attorney fired back saying that Baldwin is the sole person responsible for this incident. He rejected training. He pointed the gun, pulled the trigger without the armorer being present. I'm going to go f*** your mom. Charge is involuntary manslaughter. That is the lowest degree of homicide that there is. And even though it is homicide, the unjustified, unlawful killing of another person, because this charge is the lowest, the maximum penalty, you ready for this, is 18 months in prison. That's the maximum penalty. Now, knowing Baldwin, as I do, and as you probably do, he's not going to plead guilty to this and there'll be a trial and it'll be a monumental media circus. Involuntary manslaughter is showing reckless disregard for the life of another human being. That means that the government believes that it can prove that Baldwin pulled the trigger without regard for whether or not he was shooting a live round or a dummy round. But I'm like a twisted guy. I'm like a sort of, I've got like a darker mentality. And you stuff. are, yeah. I'm connecting with people who not only feel like the end is coming, but welcome it with open arms. Like a lot of people have said that comedians are like uh, the modern day philosophers. Mm -hmm. And I feel they're more like the modern day plague doctors. Mm -hmm. This is my beat off rag. You may not understand what I'm doing right now, but you will. Do you think you know better than me? I'm a human being. I exist. And if I speak one thought aloud, that thought lives even after I'm shoveled into my grave. Only girls can grow up to be the mummies. Only boys can grow up to be the daddies. Good morning, world. I'm starting my day with the bath and some yummy beloved products. Now time for some affirmations. Do you love yourself? Yes! Are you kind? Yes! Are you a total hottie? Yes! What the fuck is going on in this goddamn clown world? I am so sick and motherfucking tired of it. And everyone out there, like, get, grow some fucking balls! <laughs> hey! Ladies! That was fun! And say something. I'm so sick and tired of everyone sitting around and pandering. I'm sick of it. Like, enough is enough. Yes, I will. Say whatever the fuck I want to say, bitch. Yes, I will. You know I will. So shut the fuck up. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Sit here and lie. Gangster to the core. Angle rap flame. A paint your kitchen floor. Day 239 of being a girl, and we hit nine milli for Dilly. Nine milli for Dilly. Nine milli for Dilly. God, people are fucking boring. <laughs> people are just fucking boring. You know, it would be great for a guy like me just to be in a coma. Wouldn't that be great? Nothing to do all day. You just crap out and breathe through a fucking tube. They feed you through a tube. There's nothing to do. Howdy. What's this about? Step out of that car, please, sir. What is that? I need you to step out of that car, sir. What is that for? You. Hold still. But you have to see the rest of the movie and the whole movie to see what happens at the end. Let me show you right now for you give it up. All right, guys, if you're still here, thank you so much for watching the video. I, uh... I appreciate it, um, but uh, you know, at the same time, what, what I'm trying to—I understand now when uh, people unsubscribe or when I lose subscribers, and I'm like, oh no, the algorithm, it, the fucking YouTube mods—they're out to get me. They demonetize me. They're fucking shadow banning me. Nah, man, my my my, my videos just suck. You know, they just uh, they just they just do. They suck. Suck a lot. A whole lot of dick and. Not much I can do about it. It's just uh, it's the best. It's the best I can do, and um, sometimes the best you can do just isn't good enough. The quality of the content is is shit. Uh, I don't write scripts, so everything is just you know ad libbed.
which probably doesn't help me probably hurts me I don't even know why I make videos anymore like why what a... <laughs> uh, yeah don't worry I'm not gonna ask you for money I'm just saying what's the point what's the point you know why spend so many fucking waking hours making content editing just doing all the shit man um for no money you know i'm a grown-ass man like i'm an adult and you don't you don't do shit for free you don't spend hours and hours upon hours of your your life on on something that you don't get any rewards for so i don't really have a straight answer for you for why i do this it's uh Yeah. This My cock is not 14 inches. I lied, okay? It's only 13. All day, nigga. This shit, nigga. Shopping for the winner and it's just made, nigga. Ball so hard, man. This shit crazy, nigga. He ain't getting money that you get eight figures.